people. Welcome to another Brawl modding tutorial. It doesn't have a category because along with my other music uh, modding tutorial, it doesn't have anything to do with Brawlbox or Project Smash Attacks. Each music maker has its own thing. When I did my original one for the BRSTM maker here, uh, a lot of people complained saying that it wasn't the best way to do it, that a better one had come out. I knew of this one, but you can tell which one's better for you after you watch this tutorial. Now what we'll have to do first is get this file. And you go to this website, Mediafire, but this page in particular I'll put in the description. And one of my uh, friends on YouTube has made up this expansive uh, web folder full of uh, all of this great uh, stuff you can see here. He's got a lot of actual songs already. And he has, under Utilities and Tools, uh, right here, the very last one. So uh, when you go to this link, I'll put the link to this and the link to the actual thing. So you go Brawl Plus, uh, Utilities and Tools, the very last one, BCSM GUI version 1.5.zip. And you click on it and save. Uh, if the link I put to directly this on YouTube, it will ask you to save it directly from YouTube, so just do that. Uh, right click open containing folder just to make it easier to find it and it will come out as a zip file. Uh, when it downloads, unzip it somewhere, like on your desktop or something. Okay, that's easy and it will come out with folder. This is the same folder as I have here. So open up this folder and inside you got all this stuff. And this is great. Uh, some fo files you won't have, it will spawn them after the first time you run it. So double click the GUI. Wait for it to load. Make it a bit bigger if that's what you're into. Okay, so this is really great because it shows you what's on your SD card already. So you Click select SD slash folder. Uh, make sure that your SD card is in fact in your computer. Uh, find my computer. And then whatever SD card is yours. Choose the root. Now this is another great uh, use of the program. If you don't have the correct uh, linkage to get to modding music, it will detect that and put it in for you. But if you know that you have it and it asks you to do it, say no, because you know you've got it. So choose the root, which is just the absolute main thing. See, I have all of these things. And if I, you can right click on them, click play. You can't hear it. I guess you can. Anyway, so this is great. This is all the stuff you have. You can uh, give it a name if you want. If you want more clarification when editing, like I can say that this one is song two, whatever. But this is the most important thing. On this side is the files on your computer before you move them there. So you click add. Then this is your queue. Whatever is in here is going to be worked on and then converted to BRSTM format. Okay, when you're here, you can click add to queue because this is your queue box. So Now another great thing is that you don't have to have .wav format anymore. You can just have the MP3, which I think is amazing. So find any song you want at all, even if it's MP3. Click it. It'll put it there. You can put more. You can do more than one at a time. Just to show you this, we'll uh, do this. Two songs. You can do more, but at least just more time. Then click Convert to BRSTM. It will show you the progress bar. It's progressing. Depending on the length of the song, it might take longer. And you can see already that first one finished, and I put it over there, and that second one. So when there's nothing in the queue, close it. And now it took it all the way from, these are the two that I converted. This one was already here. So these two I converted. It took it from MP3 and turned it right into BRSTM. Now, you want to send it to your SD card. <clears throat> click 
click on 2SD. This prompt is extremely intuitive. Choose the category, and what that means is just the song. So for the heck of it, you can choose anything, even Subspace Emissary and Victory Themes. And anything else you want. But for this, we'll just do Smashville. You can choose anything you want. This is the second one. It shows you every possible song that plays on that. But when you go into the menu to choose how often a song plays, uh, maybe before you do this, go check which ones are on that list because the other ones are very rare. And they only play at certain times of the day if you play Brawl and other things, other random things. So just make sure that you'll be able to edit the frequency of these songs. So just choose title, Animal Crossing, and click replace. And it will move it here. And now, if you go to your SD card, through this, go PF, sound, STRM, and whatever it just added, I don't, remember what it was but I'm pretty it was this this is what we changed and it gave it the right file name and it put it in your SD card instantly and that is amazing and you can even do this if you watch we can do this in real time people click on the song that you do maybe don't want anymore click delete from SD and there it is it left and that is amazing so uh, this I do believe that it's the best way to do this. I, it's hard to top the ease and depth. So I hope you enjoyed this and found a better way, because I know a lot of you were having troubles with this. This will work. So enjoy and leave a comment if it's still not working for you. Thank you for watching.